Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing of Besieged the Sons of the Abyss by Mini, Call Mini or Not and Second Gate. Okay guys, this is actually going to be one of my first videos uh, that I'm going to be doing with something to do with um, Call Mini or Not. I actually thought it would be Rum and Bones before this but I haven't got round to doing it and I got this a little while ago off of eBay with the expansion for just about £85. Got a deal, I reckon. Nothing of the Kickstarter stuff, unfortunately. I thought it could have been, but it wasn't. Okay, guys, well, before I actually start to do the unboxing or look at the box art, because of the clean film that's on it, I'm going to use my box cutter just to take it off quickly, and then we'll have a look at the different sort of artwork and stuff like that around the box. keep my box cutter nearby just in case there's something inside that needs to be opened. Okay so now let's lift this up and let's have a look at the box art for a second and I have to say it does really look cool. Um, I'm assuming that's the heroes there and these are creatures from the abyss. Okay let's have a look at the back. There's a nice little bit of artwork on the sides as well. Oh that's a nice little bit of... Uh, sorry guys. Let me turn the light on behind me so we can actually see these some of these bits better. Get them from the box box work at the front. Another little demon creature. Looks like someone's riding something there. Uh, I'm assuming that's one of the, the heroes in the game. And there's one of the others. Now let's have a look at the back. Okay. Right, so this is a corrupt a cooperative game. It's the reason why I bought it. You can have one to six players, which interests me quite a bit, if I'm honest. Um, maybe get a gaming night with a few of my mates over one night. Uh, I'm just trying to buy cooperative uh, players that could be games that could be one or more players, because some games I got that my friends don't always want to play. So I've just got it to make sure. Well, wow, this is very similar to Rum and Bones. Okay, well. Let me turn the light behind me for a minute so we don't get the glare. Here is the rule book. The rule book itself is not that big. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Story. Fluff. Brilliant. Okay, so it tells you what you get inside. How to set up. Questions and rounds. Hero phases. So yeah, this is kind of cool. What each bit does. Now you've got to realise, guys, it's the first time I've looked at this game. Ah, there's the different types of heroes. So there are six. There's the Paladin, Archer, Sorceress, Blacksmith, that's interesting, Smuggler, again interesting, and Mercenary. There are different types of enemies as well, and I know I'm not going to pronounce these correctly, so... Korhans, Cor I think I said that right. Gorhoofs. And... Mel... Million, millions and something of the abyss. Okay, so here's the sort of rules on the back here with the different sort of creatures as well. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this one first. I'm assuming this is actually the models. I could turn the light on back behind me for a minute. Okay, so let's open this up. Yes, this has models in it. Not all of them are actually in stands by the looks of it. So let's take this. Oh, everyone's gone flying. It looks like my box has got damaged somehow. Okay, so let's. Okay, let's try and take one out at a time. I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, so. Let's put these here. Right, so the hero's on the other side. So I'm going to try. I might struggle to put this back in if I'm honest, guys, because it looks like it's. A little crushed. That's not good really for, for showing the first time. Oh, they do look good though. I have to say, Call Mini or Not, or Soda Pop Miniatures, whenever I've seen any of their games, the models generally look very good. Even if they're just a bog standard 
enemy. They just look really good. The only problem with this, I think, this here, is they all got the same sort of pose. Okay, so this, I think, was the blacksmith. Let's have a look at him. With a massive sort of drill. Very well built. Little small hammer there. Kind of an apron. Yeah, I'm assuming so. I'm assuming this is the blacksmith. Again, the model looks really cool. Uh, this was the mercenary. Kind of nice that he seems to have a, maybe a slightly smaller... It's probably just the way he's build, built. So he's got a, a sword across his back. He also has, looks like he's got some other weaponry mixed in amongst that cloak. Oh no, sorry, it's the back bit of the uh, giant sort of pickaxe sort of thing there. Again, it looks really kind of cool. This is the smuggler. Obviously, it's like some form of rogue. Again, I'm not sure what her abilities are or anything yet, guys, because I haven't actually looked at the rules. This is the paladin. Yeah, it looks really cool. Okay, this is the archer. And obviously the sorcerer. I do wish I had good painting skills because something like this would look, you know, deserves, I think deserves to be painted. But unfortunately, with my level of skill, I know I wouldn't do it justice. So, as I said guys, it kind of, I don't think it's meant to be like that. Okay, let's try and get this, okay. Yeah, I think it's got crushed somehow. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll get. I'll put it back in there, here, and then put him in at the end. Sorry about the noises. If they hurt anyone's ears, okay, that wasn't easy to get him back in. So I will try again. Okay. All right, let's put that there. Okay, now there's this really big. Sort of box here. Hopefully, I've got the white right ray around. Yes, I have. Let's pull this out. Uh, oh, load of other stuff has fallen out the bottom. Okay, let's look at that first. Okay, these are the nice little bits to put on the bottom of the stands for each hero or sort of enemy to show their elites or so on. Okay, so let's. Actually, let's put the box there like that. And I will grab it and I'll bring them to. Wow. That looks cool. Again, sort of if you if I knew how to paint the lava, sort of schemes would look amazing on them. Oh wow. Yeah, there. Yeah, that does look good. Again, you got um, okay. So the first model you just saw me pick up. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I'm not sure. There doesn't seem to be a different one there. These ones here. There are. If it fits back in its place. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them as well. Okay, so these sort of angry looking people that are throwing boulders. Yep, or they do look cool, I'm just saying. Look at the back, look at the detail on it, it just really does look good. Okay, so let's take that tray, move it, just swap it uh Oh, I'll move these over here down the side for a minute. Okay, and I'm guessing these are the box standard troops because they're all the same. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more variation here, but they are actually all the same poses. Don't get me wrong, they look good. They actually really do look good. You know, I love the weapon, the detail on the shields just look great. 
yeah, I know, I have to say that. So there's 6, 12, so there's 24 of them. So I'm assuming these ones here were the Elite. Okay. So now let's put, actually, I'm not going to put these away properly. I'm just going to put this to one side so it's out of the way. Okay, so, oh, let's get to that in a second. Oh, there's your dice. Okay, you get one different colour D6, four red ones. And I think this is the cat catapult dice. At least I think that is. I know there's a special dice that is for the catapult. There's some special clip bit clips to put on. Not sure what they are for yet. And at the bottom, there's some clear sort of stand bits. I'm assuming that's probably for an enemy that's in this game that I haven't got. Uh, okay, so we'll find out in a second. Right. I don't really want to open the cards just yet because there's but there's a quite a lot of cards here. Actually, bugger it. Let's have a quick open these up. Oh, everything wants to go everywhere. Okay, so at the back here you can see there's a vent card, so let's just quickly turn one over. Earthquake! Sorry about this, guys. Earthquake! Roll one wet dice damage. Oh, okay, so that could be quite dangerous. So events goes for quite a few cards there to show you the thickness. Again, I'll put that over here for the minute. Then you have enemies. There's quite, sorry, quite a few of these ones. Wow, there's a lot of, <gasps> oh, bugger. There's a lot, a lot of the enemy cards. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I've just dropped this everywhere, guys. Okay. Uh. Okay, so you got the compass as well. There's the tavern. I've got to pick the other cards up in a second. I've dropped a load over the floor, so I'm not the best show. Sorcery. Okay. I feel like an idiot now, but hey-ho. Ugh. Armory, <laughs> it's one of the ones that's fallen over. Market is another one that's from the pole that's just fallen on the floor, and there is quite a lot of it falling on the floor. All right, anyway, so let's lift up. Let's get these little bits out now. Okay. Uh, let's just cut that slightly open. I said I'm gonna. A second. Uh, okay, so there is oh, there's a little band thing that's holding it all together. I'm going to try and slide that off because that might be useful to keep to keep all the cards together. Okay, so a lot of these guys actually have a little bit of a backstory to them as well, which kind of looks cool. You've you know that's the paladin, obviously. There's the archer, there's the blacksmith, there's the smuggler, the mercenary. Again, you know, all have their sort of little background story on them as well. Okay, so let's put that over there for the minute. I've got to get the... Okay. okay so, so for the last bit... There is a sort of sheet. Um, some little bits you push out. Obviously that's the big monster that can appear. That's the seasons. There's all the little other tokens. I'm going to put that back in there straight away. Again, some more tokens. I know that's the catapult. I don't know what that is, but there's quite a few little bits. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the. Yeah, I think it's the messenger. Okay. The other side has slightly different colours. Let's put that down there. There's 
that's kind of cool because you've kind of got li little different sort of zones. If you flip it over, it looks different. So that's kind of cool. Again, it's the same thing. It's just some more little zones. Not sure if any of these mean anything different yet until I read the rules, but again, just looks nice little difference. Another sort of like across there. And a nice little bit there. Okay, and there is your little town bit. So in the town you've got the palace, Talavan, the smuggler's hideout, the barn, the armory, sanctuary, market and sorceress tower and the catapult in the middle. And so that would be your north, east, south, west. Okay guys, this is me unboxing um, Besieged. Um, I still feel like a bit of an idiot if I put my camera down there. You can see all the cards I need to pick up. <laughs> um, Alright guys, yeah, um, if you like this video please click like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, if you'd like to feel like leaving a comment, uh, please do. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I'm going to be doing some unboxings for those two little boxes at the back at some point as well. Um, I'm going to be doing all different unboxings because I'm into all different games. So, yeah. But I need to pick this up. I'm also soon going to be doing a video of me at Salute. I'm not. I'm going to just film certain things. Probably not going to have, have much noise to it because the place will probably be very noisy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's also me doing a sort of budget thing. I'm turning up with £50. I kind of know what I already want. But when you turn up to these things, other things catch your eye. So I'm only turning up with £50 because last year I spent £300. E too easy. Too easily. Okay, guys. Have a good day. And good night.